Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be discussing kerf, uh, what is kerf and kerf offset. Uh, specifically today we're going to be discussing it for the bolt um, and testing it using uh, multiple of the lenses that we have. So let's get right to it. Um, I've already drawn up some, some diagrams to try to explain it. So if I have a 25.4 millimeter square and I want to cut, I'm going to have the male and then the female section of it. Well, right here, the red would be where the laser beam comes through and cuts and removes the material. That is your kerf. Uh, each lens will have a different kerf. Each machine will have a different kerf. Um, so just because I tell you what mine is doesn't mean it may apply to you. Uh, it could be close, it could be the same thing, or it could be completely different. Uh, today we're going to be using the standard default autofocus. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing changes. Um, but I'm going to walk you through the test cuts, how to measure, and then determine your kerf offset and, and where to put it. So again, um, the red is what would be removed by the laser beam itself. Uh, once we're done, we'll have multiple cuts with your male uh, section of it here and then the female area. So once we do this, you'll, you'll see I'll measure from the right side to the left side or however you want to look at it. <laughs> Um, take that measurement and then I will measure the the hole that's left uh, you take the hole that's left that measurement subtract it from the male section or the square um, divide that by two because you have a cut on both sides uh, and this will help you determine what your kerf is so I'm gonna put this all back together um, and start getting rid of some of the layers here that I don't need. Uh, that way we can do a test run. Um, I'm going to double check that my kerf is zero. And right now it's not. So I'm going to put my kerf back to zero. And we're going to run a test on the 1.5 inch lens. Uh, so I will go ahead and send this to the bolt. And take the camera over there and record it. Okay, so we're over here at the bolt. We got the 1.5 inch lens. I've already auto-focused. Uh, so everybody knows um, we're the cut setting. Uh, we have for the high air since we installed the dual air assist and the nozzles all the way up. We'll also take a look at what type of uh, edge we get. So I am going to double check that I'm in my origin and I'm going to frame it. I'm going to move it just a hint over. And then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, we've got our piece that we just cut out right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure 25.4 Let's make sure that they're right. The harder you squeeze the dick the more it'll change. So we're gonna go with 25. 
0.32. So those are our measurements. Now we're going to go over back to the computer, do some math, and set the uh, curve offset up. Okay, so let's take our measurements and just jot them down over here real quick. So I got 25.32. I have 25.05. Wow, can't type today. Um, so I subtract those two together. Or sub I subtract those two and I get 0.27. Then I divide that by two to come up with 0.135. So right now, according to my math, 0.135 will be my kerf offset. So now I come in here to the cut layer and I go to my kerf offset and I do 0.135 and I hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and delete as soon as I get off of that. Delete all this out of my way. Send it back to the laser. And let's see how it works. Okay, we just cut that out. That came out of that piece right there. So let's see how well it fits. It fits pretty good. It looks like I have enough room for a glue joint in there. Um, however, if you want it to fit tighter, then you adjust your kerf offset. Like I would, so this is 0.135. Um, I would look at going for me maybe 0.18 or 0.19 to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Um, so I hope this helps understand that. We're going to run another quick test uh, on the 2.5 lens just so you can see the difference. Okay, so we did our first set of cuts. We took our measurements, we went back over to the computer and did the kerf offsets. And then we cut out of there and let's see how my offsets look. I'd say that's a pretty good fit. So again, do this with all your lenses, do this with every machine. Uh, and then make notes so that you know uh, what your settings are for each lens. Um, other than that, I hope you all learned something and have a great day.